hi and welcome to Python tutorial in this very tutorial you can see the color which I've just uh, finished developing using a uh, Python total graphic so it's just the color of the rainbow so you can see I've written in the rainbow color what I would do next is uh, I'm going to take you guys into the Python development environment where I will show you how to develop something very very similar but I will start with by writing out the rainbow color so let's go into the Python coding area now okay now let's start so we have to import as follows let's import total total we import um, all of the total components that's why I have the star there then the next thing I will do now is let me define define my main function right here there so I just want to write out the rainbow color so let me come right underneath here and just say writer okay equals total you can see the total that I'm using to write it is in capital letter okay. then followed by writer dot Okay, then uh, the next thing is uh, I'm going to now specify the colors that I intend to use for my output. So writer, uh, writer pen color, and then uh, let me just give it black color for now so that you guys can see the output and what I intend to write in there. Writer dot write dot write as follows so let's enter some space in there so I can get it dead center rainbow rainbow color and let's make this capital letter yep and space right there or oh, there should be a rainbow here there so what I'll do to speed this up uh, let me just enter the rest uh, of the argument so that you guys say uh, I don't spend much time on this tutorial so I'm just gonna pause it and get back to you okay that's the rest of the argument right there for the right and large D so that you guys can see the rest of the code right there I want it to be that's what's get it centered the font the style and the size of the font bold and make that italic so what I'll do next is just uh, run this very part of the program so that you guys can see let's say if into loop all right there so we now save the save this uh, tutorial let me just save it right in here I'm just gonna call it uh, rainbow there so I'm gonna call it rainbow is right there and let me run it and see so that you guys see what I've done so far now here is what I've written in there as the color of the rainbow so the next thing I would do is just to enter the rest of my instruction so I will start by asking the system okay let's go for rainbow so I'm declaring a variable rainbow equals the following color so rainbow color is 7 we know that so I'm just going to speed that up we have 8 we have 4 5 6 7 so I will start by the very first color which is valid okay so I'm just going to speed that up and get back to you guys now we have all the colors in place there they are so the next thing I will ask the system to do is pen up okay now pen up and uh, go to the following location let's say minus 320 comma minus 195 and close that so now the width of each of those uh, lines will be 70 so now let's use the following for i 
within rainbow which is right here let me just copy that and dump it here paste it right there and enter its column there then the next thing is specify my color which put that in parentheses which is for i then down and again let's go for forward make that 840 that might be too much but that's all right then pen out the game and uh, go back 840 okay now turn left 90 degrees and now uh, and let it go forward 66 pixels and turn right 90 degrees and that's all about it so what i'll do next is just go through my program carefully and then run this uh these lines of codes okay there it looks like there's no error so let me just run this for now and see oh no i don't want this there is um there is an error in the program so here let me just end it right there okay up look at it right there there ought to be parentheses there okay that's it open and close the parentheses okay now let's run save it and uh, have a go at it one more time yeah and that is how you create a rainbow using torture and always change the color of the you can change the color of the writing to maybe white in the previous one i have a white color in there so i'm just going to change it back to white and run the program one more time let's have a good look at it you can see how beautiful it looks you can always develop or create something like this yourself modify it and do what you like with it well i suppose you all enjoyed this program and I'm just going to call it bye for now.